Good morning, friends and followers of Christ. Today I speak to you from the original convent building built in 1845 of St. Vincent's Academy. This Catholic school for young women in Savannah, Georgia, is the oldest continuously operating mercy school in the United States. Follow me. I want to introduce myself and tell you my story. My name is Mother Catherine McCauley, and I was born in Dublin, Ireland in 1778. I grew up within a family whose principles included unconditional love and generosity. Upon my compassionate and caring father's death in 1783, I was orphaned and lived some years with my relatives. In 1803, I was invited to live with the Callahan family, where I served as a companion to Mrs. Catherine Callahan. This nurturing family was childless, and when Mr. Callahan passed away in 1822, I inherited his fortune. This inheritance gave me the funds I would need to fulfill my life's dream to help those in need. In 1824, I used my inheritance to lease a property on Baggett Street in Dublin. Here, I offered religious, educational, and social services to women and children. Soon, other women began admiring my work with the needy and joined in my quest to help those who are less fortunate. It was through these series of events and through the compelling need to serve that I, we founded the Sisters of Mercy, a Catholic congregation of women devoted to working for the poor. It was through these series of, of events and through the compelling need to serve that we founded the Sisters of Mercy, a Catholic congregation of women devoted to working for the poor. I served 10 years as a Sister of Mercy, and although that time was much too short, my work and vision prompted generations of women to reach out to the needs of others and take their vows as sisters. Upon my death in 1841, there were 150 Sisters of Mercy in Ireland. Today, the faithful Sisters of Mercy of America are located in North, Central, and South America the Caribbean, Guam, and the Philippine Islands, with more than 4,000 sisters performing charitable works on a daily basis. Schools like St. Vincent's allow my legacy to live on, and through the works of the Sisters of Mercy here, the young women who are guided by their principles, God's work thrives. Thank you for sharing your time with me today, and I do hope that you will continue the Lord's good work by giving to those who need it the most. May God bless you and keep you.